Hello everyone, welcome back to KTI 5 Training Part 5. This is Hans. Let's finish this side of the cylinder. So I'm going to create another sketch on the same plane. So select sketch in this plane. Let's project this this line. So select the line and go to project 3D elements. Now we have on yellow. So let's create a line here from the middle to the top and now let's create a profile from here to here to here and here and press escape to finish our profile now let's add the constraints so select the line select the constraint command then the line and change the, the value to 10 millimeters and do the same for this one to 10 millimeters and a last constraint to get the distance from here to here change the value to 20 millimeters and delete the, the project 3D elements you can see this element here on use it edge on projections mark one you can delete it here or select here and delete it and after that just exit the workbench okay and now let's create another shaft so select the shaft command select our profile select the axis select preview now we have complete the side of the cylinder with that we are almost done with this part so I'm gonna show you how to hide things here in Katia one way is select the for example let's hide this line select the line right click and hide and show you see the line disappear but it not disappear it just hide it you can see the icon how it looks like when it's hide so let's let's change to the the dark side of Katia we can see here we have the line we hide this sketch the other sketch and the final sketch we make to change to the visible just click this icon and this icon here is to hide and show too so if we select the line and click the icon we're going to get it back the line another way to hide is on the tree you can select right click and hide ok after that let me hide all the plane hide and show to select various things at the same time just click on the first one you can use shift or control to select various things you use shift just click the first one and the last one you want to select ok uh, ok now let's save this part so let's go to file save or save as now let's save as a cylinder dash file press this ok and now to finish this part we need to add some electrical connection points so let's change to the workbench electrical let's go to equipment electrical harness discipline electrical power design okay when you're here we need to tell Katia this part is going to be um, I mean, it's going to be a, a mountain equipment, an equipment, a shell, a connector, a contact, a filer plug, a back shell, or a protection part. I want to tell that, yeah, this is going to be an equipment. Yes, I'm going to select it. It's telling me if yeah, I want to change the name. I'm going to keep the same name, just press OK and you can see here at the end of the tree we have some publications so 
and you can see here the icon change so after that we can add some electrical connection points but to do that I need to create a point here and here so let me change to the R design workbench I'm going to select the point I'm going to create a point on this surface so I'm going to click the surface I'm going to change here the point type is going to be on surface and on the distance the distance it takes the center of the circle so I'm going to put zero to keep in the middle now we have a point here on the center of the circle and I'm going to do the same for this side so I'm going to select the point select the surface put zero press enter ok let me change again to the electrical part design ok with that now we need to create a electrical connection for the wires so let's go to this is this, I, this command is to define a connector point this one is for a bundle connection point is the one we needed this one is for a cavity back shell and shell but right now we're going to use the bundle connection point so let's select it and we're going to create it on this side so let's select here we can change the name of the connection point but I like to keep the default so we need to select our representation is going to be this face on this point on this initial condition just press ok and you can see here now we have electrical and bundle connection point and phase generation bundle connection point and let's do the same for this side so let's change let's select bundle connection point on this connector or I mean on this part on this phase, on this point, and on this phase, and press OK. Now we have two electrical connection points for bundles. OK, with that, we're finished with this part. So let's save it. Don't forget, you can put save. Now we save the part. So I'm going to finish the video here. I'm going to continue in the next video. So, guys, take care. Bye.